visiting a village that will soon be gone, and harvesting the largest tree-borne fruit in the world. Stick around for some jackfruit fun, right now on The Clumsy Gardener. Okay, okay. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back. So, uh, I've been asked to make some jackfruit uh, mead for a festival that's taking place in a village out in Yunlong. Um, and so today we're gonna go visit one of the villagers whom I met uh, last year, who invited me around to check out what they have growing on out there and uh, possibly share some of the cuttings uh, from what they have growing with us. I'm really keen to just see what they have and I, uh, yeah, it'll be fun to make the jackfruit mead when I do do that. But uh, today, hopefully, we'll actually even also be able to uh, harvest some off of the tree. Anyway, uh, we'll see. Mead is essentially honey wine which I'll ferment with ripe jackfruit to make a summery wine that's delicious chilled, hopefully in time for their festival in a few weeks. After circling our way around and navigating the village roads, the Mrs. and I finally meet up with Lai Tong. We found it finally. Oh, Lai Tong, Lai Tong. Can we go out? Yes, yes. After a short drive with the local guide, we managed to park and make our way into Wingling Chun one of the various villages in the Wangchao area, for a tour. <笑>我都試了今天 Lai Tong takes me to a few of their trees where we look for fruit to harvest that we can let ripen at home. And so with the weapon of choice, a sharp cleaver, I squat down with the mosquitoes and go to work. Oh, it's Alright, we got it. Alright, we got it. 我們想,我們這條村裡其實很多村民都有種大樹菠蘿。我們就搞了大樹菠蘿節。I'm looking forward to checking out the festival. As for the jackfruits, when it begins to be soft to the touch, it should be ready for us to cut open. Lai Tong takes us back through her garden, where she graciously shares cuttings of her dragon fruit, sweet potatoes, and potentially a new plant that will pose a fun challenge for my garden. Banana off of the rhizome. We'll see if we can get that to root. With plans for this land to be used to create public housing, this will be their last year here, and likely the last festival. And though the future of all the trees is uncertain, many of their offspring have been germinated and shared with many around Hong Kong, in hopes that these delicious, large, and versatile fruits from this village will continue to grow wherever they put down roots. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, happy growing, we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Jackfruit time.